everyone, welcome back for more XO Zero's content. Today's video we're going to discuss the maintenance update that just dropped for October 29th. So what we have here in my screen is um, the date of duration. So uh, we have an update for October 28th to October 29th. So the schedule may depend on the, your location or your situation. And we now see the new poster for this update and this poster looks great um the devs really have made it really look good and have outdone themselves this time so i really love the design of this poster um <laughs> i'm thinking of um, having it in my phone as a wallpaper so they have uh, really outdone themselves this time so let's proceed to the update so just a highlight of this update so chapter 13 will now be open and chapters 11 and 12 will be rearranged in terms of difficulty so and also for this update they will be um uh, changing some of the settings for chapter 11 and chapter 12 so that we could be able to achieve three stars for this one because actually even i have had a difficulty for this one um, in terms of achieving even at least two stars so we need to at, achieve three stars because there are there is a reward for three star completion and it's usually says so i'm i'm actually appreciative of the devs trying to tweak this out so that players can claim their prize after uh, reaching all of the stages up to three stars so also in this one we will be receiving awakened zeon as a free gift or as a clear reward once you complete story episode 13 to 11 so this is a very big plus for us i'm not sure on how or how does this fc play out would it be a blue fc because we already have a because we already have a gold um, gold FC for Xeon, so I'm not sure if this will be gold, black, or blue. So let's find out together once we complete episodes 12-11. Uh, sorry, episodes 13-11. So for this um, for for this update, I'll just skip through. Uh, what do you call this the other content and I'll cover them in a separate video I'll go straight to the choice fate core so the period is also October 28th so after the maintenance so this is up to November 5th Thursday so we currently have a new choice fate core banner in which it's under forgotten memory so this is actually one of one of the banners that I've been waiting for 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 a redo so for this one, you have FC Redley, which is a gold fate core, FC Battery, a gold fate core, and the rest are black fate cores. You have FC Emma, FC Deva, FC Reed Marie, and FC Annie. So just to give you guys a just to give you guys a tip on this one, um, the pick is actually hinged on battery. Whether you have her, whether you want to activate her signature force. And by the way, her signature force also gets activated today. So you might consider pulling for Bathory for this one because she's really hard to pull in the regular banners. Um, try to pull her first if you want her to use her or you want to activate her signature force. Um, the other useful FCs included in this banner are for my number two, uh, it's fc annie and fc deva so they're tied for second because both of their both of their fate cores are being used right now in the game so try to pull for them if you don't like to pull for fc battery the third one would be fc redley because fc redley right now is um, is used in pvp tag and he's also a good fc to have in your team so it's really up to you and on which part of this the game you're in or which stage of the game are you in right now so it's it would really uh, depend on on what you prefer as well 
So, but I would recommend Bathory first, then Annie or Deva second, and Radley on the third one. So let's move on to the next content. Okay, here we are now at Infinity Core. So the Infinity Core has been already activated and I think we, they will start giving rewards now. So th in this update, 200 Zest will be given weekly uh, reward uh, regardless of what your ranking is. So I'm not sure yet on what the what are the other rewards once you complete it on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis but we will soon find out but at least right now if you're participating in in the infinity core on a weekly basis you at least get 200 zest minimum so for you Pierce labyrinth they will be bringing out um a different set of content again uh different from last month's content so you'll you'll, you'll have different types of stages again for levels one to five for each column of Uber's Labyrinth. So also check this out. Also for our rank one accessories, they are actually getting out the rank one accessories already for us to equip in our uh, ranked or our awakened champions or heroes. So right now we'll be able to complete the set of six for your heroes, which will make them more powerful in the game. So together with Again, with, with the update is the Choice Fate Core banner uh, that has dropped today. So the next event that has also dropped is the Halloween Premium Recruit. So we have a free 77 times for the Halloween pull for the, for the Premium Recruit banner. So this will start also on October 29 up to no November 18. Also, we have another Halloween season hot time event, which will start on October 30 up to October 9th of, of November. The next would be Halloween special package to release. So October 29 to November 11 for this event. The next event, which is which has been um, hyped so far because this this is the remaining uh, signature, for, signature force that has been left out of its release so we have now have greenland signature force open which means bathory rara and ulum will have their signature force available so this signature force is, is a bit is a bit exciting it, it's it's a bit crazy because we don't know really what will shift in the meta the, I'm sure Bathory, Rera, and Ulum will again join the meta in terms of in terms of um, uh, active participation, especially in, in the top teams. Um, I'm not sure if actually I'm, I'm really excited because this will create chaos. Um, we'll see in probably in a week on how the standings or or the top teams rank in terms of usage for heroes. But I think Bathory, Rera and Ulu will have a comeback for this one. And also for all of the players, we have the monthly season mission, which is open already, in which we have free, free, free goodies and freebies again for this one, and also a free fate court ticket for the event. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. So please write down in the comments below uh, what are your thoughts on the update? Is it really good? Um, do we need this? Do we need this type of update at this point? Um, my only concern is that Light Games should put out more um, content in terms of permanent content for the game, permanent game modes, um, which add to the current one, which is more exciting because the current um, content of the game is not really it's not really conducive to gameplay. It's it's just it's just uh, more or less a for a player it's just a routine for them it doesn't get them excited anymore for the existing content i do hope that they put out new content in the future that is why uh, i do pray and hope that line games listens to this one and uh, in the next probably week or so they add more to content or probably in a month to be to to be more or less at least be realistic about it but i hope they do listen to the player base and I hope they do add better, good and exciting content to the game. 
So that is it for me, guys. So this is the warden, and I'm out.